<laughs> What's going on guys? Hey, so today we're gonna be going to check out the Montana back down at Sanford, North Carolina at Homes by Vanderbilt. I'm gonna show it to you. I love the front porch on this just because of the stone on the pillars, really cool. So go check that out and when you're done with that, I'll meet you back here and we'll discuss the price. Right off the rip, these pillars right here on the porch are beautiful and definitely one of my favorite features of the homes that I've seen here today. Now, this home is four bedroom, two bath, 1800 square foot. It is currently a single story, so for all of you that don't like climbing stairs, this home is for you. As far as foundations go, you saw in the front of this house, it does have like a cinder block kind of foundation. Homes by Vanderbilt does have several different types of foundations for you to choose from. And then of course you can have a crawl space or you can have a full on basement, uh, which makes this house and pretty much all these modular homes um, super nice, super convenient. Now, as far as Homes by Vanderbilt, if you're looking to get a home from them, this one, any of them, they do only service a small section in North Carolina. So if you don't live in and around that area, you're not gonna be able to get this home from Homes by Vanderbilt. However, have no fear, this is an r &L floor plan. So if you are interested in the home, you can definitely take this floor plan to pretty much any modular home builder. And if they can't give you the exact one, they can get you something really close. So definitely keep that in mind. I did wanna let you guys know before we get inside of this home, we have been working on uh, some more home tours coming up here pretty soon, different ones in different locations. That's gonna be kicking off the middle of August. So again, super excited. I always get really excited about these trips. We're gonna be going to, right now, I know West Virginia and Illinois. Uh, I'm trying to get some in Kentucky and I'm trying to get some in Ohio. So um, hopefully, fingers crossed there. If you know any home centers in your area that have some really nice homes and you want me to feature them on the channel, let me know down in the comments. That way I can kind of reach out to them and see if we can't put something together. All right, now when you first come into this home, you are greeted with this great, beautiful, open floor plan. Now this home does have two different living areas, so that's nice. I guess this would be more like a formal living area. And then I'll show you the other one here in just a minute. Now when you do first come into this home, you are greeted with this little landing. It has vinyl plank floors and then it turns into carpet uh, just in this section and of course in the bedrooms. However, if you didn't want carpet uh, in this home, that's something that you can get rid of or exchange. Um, definitely remember that most of this stuff is customizable. And then coming into this kitchen, I love the dark cabinetry and the stainless steel appliances, I think it makes it really pop and it looks really good. As far as the cabinets and drawers, they are not soft closed, but that is something that you can uh, opt into. And then you have these beautiful uh, recessed lights that definitely, you know, make it shine. A lot of the times for me, the only real light that I have to work with is the one right up underneath of the microwave or if you have like a little range vent. So I think those lights would be really cool. And then your stainless refrigerator with the freezer. And then of course your refrigerator. And then as far as the pantry in this home, I think this is it. This is, uh, this is what you get. So not real big. Maybe you can turn something in the laundry room into a pantry and we'll get there in just a second. You have your sink underneath of your window and your dishwasher. And then a beautiful island. Uh, definitely can fit several bar stools there. And then of course, really nice counter space. Plenty of outlets to plug in any of your handy dandy electrical cooking devices. And then coming into you, your utility room, you have your water heater. And 
and then this would be where your furnace is this home currently doesn't have a furnace or air or anything this is uh washer dryer hookups your back door so yeah no no real room for a pantry in there but you do have nice sliding glass door going out onto your future back deck put a little grill out there you know set the mood your dining room table and then coming into your second living area I love the blue accents on this wall right here next to the entertainment center it's like a really deep blue I like it a lot now as far as the entertainment center if you didn't want this it probably looked really nice to have a, a fireplace put there or with a mantle or something now back here you do have three bedrooms definitely perfect if you have some kids or maybe some grandkids or maybe you just have a, a big family that likes to come hang out all the time or you and your spouse can have uh, your own individual offices I don't know it's funny thinking about it uh, just the variety of people how different everyone is what they enjoy doing uh, what they have going on in their lives. I think it's really cool and really unique to think about just because you know I guess I think about that because I see all of your comments all the time and it's just they have such a variety and range from what you like and what you dislike so pretty cool. Now coming into your first of the two bathrooms you have a single vanity your toilet and then your shower and tub combo. And then your third bedroom. All these bedrooms are pretty much the exact same size. But it is nice, all of them letting in a whole bunch of light with their beautiful windows. So, all right, now that is this half of the house. We will head our way back to the master bedroom, which is a beautiful master bedroom. It's not overly over the top, but it is a decent size. And then coming into your master bathroom, you have a double vanity, some linen closet space, then you have a little makeup vanity area. I think the window's a little low right there. I, I don't know how big of a mirror you would need, but either way. Then coming into your walk-in shower, beautiful tile surround, and then you have a, your shower head and then a rainfall shower head. And then you do have your toilet in the water closet. And you have your master closet also here in your master bathroom. So I think a, a cool thing that they should have done here was add another door going into the bedroom to your left right there. I think that would be really nice. Oh, so you're back already. All right, cool. So what'd you think about the home? Did you like it? I thought it was pretty neat. That open floor plan, the four bedrooms, perfect family home, I think. Now, as far as the price goes, this home is gonna start out at about $165,000, which I think is a very affordable price range. And uh, as we've toured it, this home was approximately $212,000. Now keep in mind that these prices can vary due to a whole wide variety of reasons, and it very well may not be the price that you pay if this was the home that you were wanting to get. Also keep in mind that Homes by Vanderbilt does only service a small portion of North Carolina, so if you don't live in that area, you're not gonna be able to get a home from North Carolina. 
If you do live there, by all means, go check them out. Beautiful place. Uh, other than that, you can take the floor plan and see if you can have another builder kind of build something similar, uh, if not fairly close to this floor plan. Anyway, guys, I really appreciate you hanging out with me today, as always. Uh, my name's Timothy. I'll see you in the next one.